Hey there, I'm Taylor Barefoot. I'm here today with the TC Electronics Dark Matter pedal. Uh, I'm using a Callaham strap through a Two Rock Classic Reverb. This is the bypass sound. This is the Dark Matter set to a nice little uh, overdrive. So we've got gain, level, bass, and treble, and then we've got a voice switch, just so I'll show you what that does. Almost seems to give a little more bottom end to it when it's in the up position. I seem to like it there, so I'll leave it there. So we'll mess with the gain a little bit. I've got it a kind of little above unity as far as the level goes. But this is the gain all the way down. So that's even a nice sound. seems to even hold on to a lot of clarity with the gain dime. So I seem to like it about there. The level all the way up. Seems to like it there. Let's take all the bass out just for fun. And actually I've been doing this a lot with some pedals or amps lately just to fit uh, a track in the mix a little better. If I'm doing like a little overdub guitar, I'll just roll almost all the bass off. Just like... Just do some stuff like that. But uh, if you're just playing the main part, you probably want some bottom end in there. Just bit I'll just do one more for fun here to see what that sounds like. TC Electronics, Dark Matter.
Barefoot. I'm here with the TC Electronics Hall of Fame Reverb pedal. It's one of their Tone Print series, which is really cool because you can update it with your iPhone or with your computer. It's got a USB input, or if it's uh, hooked up to your guitar, you can actually, and you have an iPhone or a smartphone that'll take their uh, software update procedure, you can uh, just run it through your pickups straight into the pedal. So this is the reverb pedal. It's a really versatile pedal. Uh, it packs a lot of punch in a small little piece of real estate. This is the bypass sound. I'm using my Linhoff Telecaster through my two rock reverb. So this is the Hall of Fame, just set to a slight uh, hall sound. Or pretty heavy hall, as it were. So one of the cool things that you've got is you've got control over the tone and the decay. And you can go with short or long delay, or uh, short or long reverb, rather. So leave it on the long. Let's play that a little better. And you've got effects level, you've got decay and tone. So one thing is, is really cool is having the tone, because I don't like a really bright reverb. In some pedals, it's just kind of there. So I'll kind of roll off some high end there and keep the decay kind of within check. So you can really tone it, uh, tailor it for the song. So let's try a few of the different settings here. I'll just leave these kind of all set where they are. This is the room. I'll just turn this up a little bit so you guys can hear the uh, hear the effects a little better. There's the hall we just heard. It's a spring. Church. A little bigger sound and delay. This is cool. The mod reverb um, gives you a little bit of modulation, uh, like a chorus in it. And it's kind of like the old uh, Boss, uh, Boss RV5, I think, or RV3. Had a cool setting like this. setting. So next we've got lo-fi. So we'll just compare with like a normal reverb like the hall we had earlier. Lo-fi. So then we've got tile. like a tiled room. Next we've got ambient, which just gives you, it's really subtle, so I guess you have to really crank. Just almost makes you sound like you're in a small room. It's like adding a room mic onto your uh, guitar sound. Got gate, which kind of cuts off the reverb like a gated verb. That's pretty cool. So then you've got the tone print there, which uh, allows you to uh, upload different presets. Uh, so Dave just informed me this is one from Paul Gilbert. Try it with the dark matter. 
guitar here just to give it a little more Paul Gil Gilbert kind of flavor. <laughs> That's the Hall of Fame from TC Electronics.